What's up guys, Heeking here, bringing you a quick review, mini review, long review, I don't know what it's going to be, it's a review, okay, it's a review. Just got done watching Marvel's Falcon and the Winter Soldier episode 1, and the verdict, is it good? Yes. It was very good. It was very surprising. It's very different, okay? I'm going to say this right now because a lot of people are going to be very, like, they're going to be... I've seen reviews comparing this to WandaVision, and it's like, why are you doing that? Why are you comparing it to WandaVision? These are two separate, completely different things. You know, one was a mystery show uh, with magic and et cetera, et cetera, and this one is obviously more for... It's got definitely the style of the Winter Soldier in it, okay? It's definitely more of a sequel to Endgame, uh, showing you what's been going on. I think it takes place what five six months after the events of uh, Endgame So yeah, we're, we're getting we're getting a good look at the world post blip and we're getting a lot of character development mainly for Sam and Bucky which was unexpected uh, the way they were handling all of that stuff, but it was great first 10 minutes uh, great opening action sequence with uh, Falcon versus Bar, Bar Truck the Leaper. They brought that guy back from the Winter Soldier, and uh, yeah, it did give me Winter Soldier vibes in terms of the opening. You know, you got the you got the main hero going on this mission. He's jumping out of a plane, uh, but in this case, he's not fighting a boat. He's fighting in the air because it's Falco. He's fighting in the air. He's going through like these canyons, diving missiles and uh, blowing up helicopters and stuff, and fighting uh, these guys through mid air. Like it's it's it was a very intense, very cool action sequence. It was done really really well. And then we move on to the whole character development, uh, psychological aspects of the episode. We see Sam uh, relinquish the shield and, uh, you know, talking about how they need heroes, how they need new heroes, how, you know, he's not really qualified or he doesn't seem like he's qualified to be the new Captain America. We, we see a scene with him and Rhodey talking, of course. Yeah, Rhodey makes a cameo in this episode and that was kind of, that was cool to see. It was kind of cool to see those kind of connections there. It's cool to see those two having discussions and talking about the whole circumstances regarding all of this and what it means to carry the shield, etc, etc, and the symbol that it holds for a lot of people. And then we moved on to, uh, I think that this was the best part of the uh, episode was uh, Bucky's uh, story uh, segment of the episode. Uh, it starts with a flashback. Uh, at first, I thought this was going to be like, uh, it was going to be the introduction to the uh, villains of the series, the Flag Smashers. But no, it's Bucky in his Winter Soldier gear up. Uh, and yeah, it's him just uh, killing a target and then killing some innocent uh, kid. And then we just see Bucky waking up from the nightmare, sleeping on the floor. He's got massive PTSD. It's great to see that continue. If you guys remember in Civil War, you know, he tells Tony that he remembers all the people he's killed. And here we kind of see him dealing with, uh, you know, with all of those things that he's done, all the wrong things he's done. On one hand, he's trying to do the right thing uh, by going after the people, like the uh, hidden Hydra people that were involved and, uh, you know, calling them out basically and dealing with them not killing them he, he did he did like he sort of like a he's snitching on them basically stopping them from getting away and getting the police involved but at the same time he's having nightmares on all the i'm assuming on all the innocent people that he's killed um and yeah it was very sad uh there's bucky's segments definitely made me want to cry like it's it's really dark and and a serious thing they were doing with this like yeah very dark series like the action itself was actually very brutal as well at times if you really like Winter Soldier, yeah, you'll definitely love, I think, would, yeah, you definitely love this series, I think. For the first episode, it was done really bloody well. Like, it's very human. It's very, very human, in fact. And obviously, we got a lot of development with Sam as well. Like, we find out he's got a sister, he's got nephews. We see where he grew up, where he came from. So, he's dealing with that. He's dealing with the repercussions of that and uh, having to go back to his family life. And yeah, because he's not, you know, he's not being around and we kind of get the consequences of what it means of how the world now sort of feels and looks after these five years. And it's great to see those consequences because like you can't just you can't just do a, a, a movie where it's like, oh, yeah, everything was fine. We brought all of these billions of people back after five years. It's all going to be good. And it's like, no, there's definitely going to have to be consequences to this. You can't just, you know, do something like that drastic and then do another thing drastic again. Like, you know, five billion, you know, half the universe died and people had to move on. And then you suddenly brought all of those people back. Like that, that, that you can tell me there's a happy ending to that. And you kind of get that. You get you kind of get this quote. I think between uh, uh, Sam. I think and I think I think it was between Sam and Rhodey as well. Where it's like, yeah, uh, you know, for some people, or I think it was not. I think it was between these. Uh, there was an ancient guy that was introduced that was friends with Sam, and uh, yeah, they talk they talk about the whole aspect of you know. Uh, some people believe the flag smashers uh, mainly uh, I think the whole motif is basically they want to unite the world you know when 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 half the universe died when half the world died 
people essentially became closer okay uh, and like you know for some that's probably a very good thing you know that's that is a good kind of thing you know that you the world united but then everyone came back again and it seems all of those borders you know all those political elements came back with it and now it's like everyone's sort of separating again like things are going back to the way they used to be and these guys don't like that we only got one scene with them essentially like i think robin i don't even know what was going on they were robbing a bank or something uh, and they were causing riots in the streets and yeah, obviously they're being set up to be the main villains. It's going to be interesting to see how Zemo ties into this. We didn't get anything with Zemo in this episode. Uh, disappointingly enough, I really wanted to see him. But obviously there's next week. You know, there's next week. We know he's one of the main characters. Apparently the five main characters of this show are obviously Sam, Bucky, Zemo, Sharon Carr, and the guy that becomes the new Captain America. We, we didn't get his name in this episode, but he is introduced at the very end. And it's a very depressing scene, actually, like... Sam, he doesn't see himself as the new Captain America, and Cap chose him. Why? Because he's a good guy. If you guys remember, you know, there's a reason he didn't pick Bucky. He picked Sam because he's a good man. He's a good man. Bucky's a good soldier, you know. And, uh, you know, Cap needs to be a good man. The person that becomes Cap has to be a good man, not a good soldier. And it seems like the American government, whatever, was like, nope. We're, we, don't want, we, want, we don't want this guy to be Captain America. We want to pick our own guy. Obviously, it's a bit, there's a hint of political slash racism involved in this and it seems this show is going to explore that and yeah i'm all for that actually i'm all for that because it's like like what the hell man like do you know what I mean like what the hell that's just really deep and sad actually what they did with that but uh because it, it sucks they like uh, the guy at the beginning of thing tells sam like oh well, we you know thanks for bringing the shield or considering it. obviously uh you brought in and it was supposed to be like for the museum but no uh it was obviously a trick for sam to give the shield to them so they could give it to the captain america of their choosing and uh yeah you can just see the little shady things they were pulling behind the scenes for that and that yeah it's very depressing actually so i'm hoping to see where that goes uh, in next week's episode and yeah i'm just yeah i'm just curious to see how all of this is gonna build up but the the psychological aspects of this episode the action the character development the growth were really well done i like the serious tone to this definitely definitely reminds me of when the soldier vibes and i love that I can't wait to see more of this. There's only five episodes left, but I'm enjoying it. It definitely has this more movie quality to it than the uh, WandaVision did. I'm hoping, I am hoping the show sticks the landing when it comes to the ending. Because goddamn, damn, WandaVision disappointed me. I know a lot of people are going to be like, claiming, oh, you didn't like it because it, it didn't give you what you wanted. But it's more of a case of, I don't, I don't, I don't like it when, uh, I don't like it when you have all of these characters. And then at the last second, you decide to not focus on everyone like you don't give everyone that just do uh and and then you have like these pointless twists that don't really add anything to the story it's just like oh here you go here's a here's a funny twist haha -ha, see that was funny yeah look at that bonus joke and it's like no that wasn't that wasn't funny that was that was as bad as the mandarin twist in iron man 3 and like yeah i didn't really like that so i'm hoping with this show like everyone gets their due everyone gets their proper development everyone gets their moment to shine in the action and the character department like and then that it just has a solid good ending like you know you, you don't you don't look at it and you wonder where did that character go what's going to happen to this character like like we want we want answers do you know what I mean like we want good uh, conclusions to the setups that we got if that makes sense so yeah uh, overall great bloody episode uh yeah i keep saying it great bloody episode i loved it um uh, can't wait for next week man can't wait for next week uh yeah that's my that's my review for it Maybe I'll do more of these. I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to test it out. Just like, I, like I said, I got a new webcam and I just thought, let me, let me, let me do it. Let me see how quick I can get these out. But yeah, great episode, guys. As always, like and subscribe wherever and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care. Bye.